Power Star. Power Star Pawan Kalyan. That's a very, very interesting moniker. Uh, as I like to say, you know, happy to be here, working actor, Jabby Kuwait. That's what I would go with, you know, something like that. I love all these monikers that go with their names, though. Like, you, would, you wouldn't see that over here, and that's... I have to remark on it every single time, you know. Which to, you add, do. To, to add nauseum, I have to I have to remark on it every single time. Power Star, Pawan Kalyan. Okay, so this is an adaptation of Pink, apparently. Uh, Vakil Saab, the trailer, and it's written and directed by Suram Venu with music by Thaman S. I, you know, it said Thaman S in the title. I was like, does that stand for something else? Like stands super for S. Stands for super duper. All right. So anyway, uh, here we go. Vakil Saab, starring Power Star, Pawan Kalyan. Miss Pallavi, are you a virgin? Wow, that's rude. Why does that even matter? Oh, that makes me like I want to throw up. Yes. Oh, oh, Dang. oh, okay. Helping the ante, as it were. Yes. This is very, very interesting. This uh, separates itself uh, in a very, very strong way from Pink in that this is more of like a younger lead who's yeah. got some action elements to him. I think that's pretty cool. I like that this has found a way to really differentiate itself from Pink, from the Amitabh Bachchan uh, edition of the movie. And the thing that seems completely uh, ridden of done away with is the mystery of Amitabh Bachchan because in that film, in Pink, his character was just shrouded in you know mystery, mis mis yeah. mystery, like because like you didn't know who he was, why he was walking around, why he was looking, you know what he was about, and come to find out, he's actually like a really dedicated lawyer who's just a little bit strange. Yeah, and. You know, you still get a vague sense of that here, though. You, like he's you sitting do. on a truck barefoot reading a book. He's a different kind of strange. Yes. And I think that, like, I appreciated Pink. Don't get me wrong. I like the movie. I sung praises about it. I sung praises about what it stood for. But seeing this version actually has me excited because, honestly, like, if I was as a writer or a director, if I was to go make Pink, I don't know that I would have invested that much time in creating this mystery in the first act of Pink of like, who is this guy? I guess it harkens back to like older films. I mean, for me, older like Hitchcock films, like you don't know who this person is and whatnot. Right. But I don't know the, how much I appreciated because it's like, it's Amon Tabachan, like, really, do you think he's a bad guy? There was no mystery about who he actually was going to be, especially if you saw the commercial. Right. right? And so that was sort of a, a pointless addition to the first part of the film. And it seems like they just kind of cut through that here to get to the meat of the story, which I like. I like what the story stands for. But I don't know yet how I feel about the action Achara Go. Oh, just the action? No, no, you talk about your thoughts in general. Oh, know? okay. Well, I really appreciated that they still kind of kept the drama with what happened with the girls. Just watching that again when they were in court and the types of questions that were being asked to them and how they were being treated, I just felt immensely 
uncomfortable because I immediately put myself in their shoes and I imagine like what it would be like if if I was in that situation and like it just gives me this visceral reaction of like I feel sick I want to throw up I feel nervous I can't breathe yeah and I feel so the same way I get asked the question by women woman it's my mom <laughs> Sorry, I just had to, I knew you're gonna go off on a weird tangent in another direction. I'm like, I gotta get that joke in before she moves on. Yeah, go ahead, sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, so they did a really great job with kind of keeping the drama and the tension there, which is really important. I mean, it's still kind of sad that that is something that we still have to talk about even after so many years, you know, after Pink came out, this is still a thing. I mean, this is probably gonna be a thing that we're gonna talk about for a long time to come, but it's good that we're having that conversation still and we're putting it front and center. Regarding Pawan Kalyan's performance, I think it's really different. Like it's super interesting because in my head, I still have Amitabh Bachchan's performance. And, it's more and, dramatic. Yeah, this it's is more, more dramatic. This, it, is, this is more grounded, I think. Well, I mean, I think they're, they're both dramatic, right? But it's just different seeing a younger guy come in and do that role and it's like a completely different take. Can I change the, the, the word, the, the adjective then? Not dramatic, what I mean is Amitabh Bachchan's is more theatrical. It's more of a created performance. I feel like this is more realistic in terms of what you might see just randomly in the world. If this guy actually exists, it's more of just talking to you as opposed to you know, right? I, 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 he's he's made a really interesting character, right? Because yeah. he's got a kind of sassy vibe to him. I mean, I don't know if sassy is the right word when talking about a guy. He's he got has, an attitude. He has attitude, yeah. And he's not afraid to show it, and he's not afraid to use it in the courtroom. So it's kind of refreshing having that take on it. I mean, I think if I remember correctly, like Amitabh Bachchan's portrayal of the lawyer was also, you know, like very powerful, but there's just a different gravitas, you know, and there will be because, you know, Amitabh Bachchan is just very, who played, who you know? Played, who played Elizabeth, the queen, Queen Elizabeth, who played that? In the movie Elizabeth? Yeah. Kate Blanchett. Kate Blanchett. Okay, so like, this is a weird comparison, but like you compare like Kate Blanchett to Amitabh Bachchan, right? Like, okay, and then, but then you have someone like Jessica Chastain. Yes. So Jessica Chastain's performances on average are more just like, I don't want to say regular, but they're just more relatable. It's more, sure. it's closer to what I feel like a, a person gen, generally acts like, whereas Kate Blanchett is more larger than life with everything she does. It's not very often you see her just do. Yeah, but I know? don't. I don't think she overacts. Like, I'm not I've saying. I'm not her, saying. I'm I've, not saying overact. I'm not. Okay. I'm, I'm not suggesting anyone's overacting here. Okay. It's just more theatrical. Her performances are more theatrical, like almost like a theater background. Well, and, yeah, because uh, she does. Right, but I'm not saying that's bad. I'm just saying it's different. So Amitabh Bachchan's performance, I feel like, is more theatrical. If that makes any sense. Anytime I see him. It's Amitabh Bachchan and it's theatrical. Yeah, whereas, it's crafted in a different way. Yeah, whereas this is closer to maybe something I would say Nawazuddin Siddiqui might do in terms of just like being closer to earth in terms of the performance. Every way I'm phrasing it, I feel like I'm digging myself a hole, but I mean all of these things in a positive way. No, no, I mean, yeah. I mean you've just compared his performance to Nawazuddin Siddiqui, so I don't think that's a bad thing. I'm, oh, I was, yeah, it's exactly. Okay, there you go. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying, right? No, I get it, I get it, yes. I think I do. It's it's hard to qualify because it's so nuanced. Saying that he has a theatrical performance, uh, I mean, Amitabh Bachchan. Naturalistic is the word I'm looking for, okay? So, the, the, if, 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 uh, net power star Paul Wang Kalyan is doing a naturalistic performance, in my opinion, whereas the Amitabh Bachchan's performance was not naturalistic. That's the term you always use with me. I would say definitely in the courtroom stuff, it was definitely heightened, but it That's does, what I'm talking it about, does yeah. make sense because you're in a courtroom. There is a certain level of drama and theater that goes on when you're in a courtroom, you know? Have you actually been in a courtroom? I have, yeah. It, it, it was part of my drama training. Um, but that's in England. It's actually very similar to the Indian court system. You know, okay. you go in, you you wear that suit, you got the wigs, and you have to address the judge and everyone in a specific way, and it's very like larger than life. Yeah. All right. So. All, right. All right. I mean, I don't. I'm I'm standing on an ignorant stool over here. So. <laughs> standing on an ignorant <laughs> stool. All right. You no. Know, I, I mean, all my references are mostly movies. I have been in a courtroom, but only in the states. And you know, there is that film with Manoj Bajpayee where he played the um, the gay. 
teacher or something. Oh, yes. Um, and so that was a courtroom drama, a lot of it. And it wasn't mm -hmm. like this. It wasn't like... Well, there's definitely a sense of like a lot of drama in the courtroom, but it feels different than your, your regular courtroom drama. It's like more exciting somehow. Mm -hmm. And then you've got that added thing of this lawyer is a bit of a renegade. He's a bit of a rogue. He goes around and like beats people up. I don't that's, think you see okay. that too often. That's the, that's the part that I'm a little bit on the fence about. I mean, I get it because it's Powan Kalyan and so he needs to flex those skills in the movie. Right. But that almost frustrates me a little bit. It's like, imagine if you took Jackie Chan and made him a lawyer in a movie. Now you gotta have a kung fu scene somewhere. It's like, why though? Just because he's Jackie Chan? Right. You know what I'm saying? And so that's the thing is like, an actor is versatile. He doesn't have to, do, if he's an action star, he doesn't have to do action all the time. He can do, you know, dramatic roles sometimes where he doesn't throw a punch or a kick. Sure. You know, and John Abraham tried to do that with, um, oh God, what's the name of that movie where he's building a nuclear missile? Because normally John Abraham's kicking ass. Yeah. And in that movie, he's getting his ass kicked a little bit. I'm like, <laughs> You can't kick John Abraham's ass, but at least they tried. You know what I'm saying? They tried to distinguish him from his regular line of, of films. He was getting tossed around. I'm like, okay, <laughs> he's a big dude. Like you can't toss him around. I'm sorry not to talk about that. So all I'm trying to say is in here, Pawan Kalyan doesn't need to be kicking asses. Maybe it's just because of the type of movie it is. It kind of has to hit all of the boxes, which it, sure. it has to have some action. It's got to have some songs. It's got to have some like love interest type stuff. It's definitely a different vibe. See, this is the interesting thing. I find it quite ironic in a number of ways because, well, maybe not that many ways, but it's ironic because in Pink, it was more of a theatrical performance, but the whole film was grounded. This, by Paul Wan Kalyan, it's a more grounded performance, but the film is theatrical. It's bigger. Sure. You know, it's a well, bigger I mean, film. I feel like a lot of the stuff in the court, like when with the girls and stuff, feels very grounded to me because I don't think I would have had the same response. You talking about here? Yeah, okay. in, in Vakil Saab. I don't think I would have had the same response mm -hmm. if I felt like it was too over the top, you know? I thought that just the way that the girls were reacting and the, the types of questions that were being asked and stuff, I'm just like, Hoo! I, it feels uh, feels like drama. I already like the opposing lawyer here more than the one in pink. I know that the opposing lawyer in pink is a, a, it's an actor that's highly revered, but as Jabby Kawai, as a foreigner watching, his performance for me felt over the top in Pink. I, right. I didn't enjoy it. And every time I've watched that actor, I think I've only seen one performance from him where I liked him. But generally speaking, I haven't been a big fan of his. The lawyer here, he feel, he still feels like snaky, you know, s slimy. Yeah. You know, to even ask that question. And the first thought that popped into my head which I'm glad they, they kind of brought it back around at the end of the trailer. The first thing that popped into my head was, as soon as he asked, are you a virgin? I'm like, bitch, you're not. <laughs> like, why are you asking that question? I guarantee you, he's probably had a lot of partners. Why is, why is he asking her this question? And then the other part of my brain goes, well, maybe he's doing that because he's utilizing the morality of, I, I, I don't know what you call it. The, the, the jury? The, the jury, well, not the jury, but just like what people generally believe. The morality of the zeitgeist. Right, because they're kind of saying, if you're not a virgin, yeah. then I'm sorry, the fact that you said no, that you didn't want to have this, doesn't really hold any weight because right. you're not a virgin. And so you're a loose woman. Like, yeah, exactly. He's trying to, you know, manipulate people's feelings because of, you know, morals or whatever. Yeah. What, it what, makes what, me what? so upset because it that, that doesn't even matter. If a woman says no, it's a no. Right. Well, I'm saying like, what is accepted in the zeitgeist right. and not accepted. And it's like, yeah, but I'm sure that lawyers, I still remember Pink as if we just watched it, you know, like it's, been a while, and it was definitely a film that stayed with me. And I'm looking forward to seeing this alternate version of it if uh, if we get to watch it here. So you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm Jabby Kuwait. This is Achara Cook. Peace out.